All right, all right, all right. I just got my Fresh Star magazine. Just came hot off the press right now. And the title story, the lead hot dished out story is Shiloh Breaks Brad's Heart. What she did in Paris that left Brad Pitt stunned. All right, so Shiloh Pitt. Um, first of all, Shiloh Pitt. Now, I, she's an 11 year old girl. Honestly, I thought she was a boy. She's got super short hair. They've always, I think they've always had her hair super short. I don't know if they're trying to transgender her into a boy. I have no idea what happened there. But I just learned today that after I got my Star Magazine, that Shiloh is not a boy, but a girl. And the lead story is Shiloh locks out Brad. Fighting mad. Brad has regular visitation with Shiloh and the kids but, and the other kids, you should say, but it's just not enough, size a source. He's sick and tired of being on the outside looking in. After his daughter sent a not-so-subtle message that she's angry at her father, Brad Pitt is determined to win her back. All right, so throwing away the key, the love lock above, and I'll show you that, I'll try to put that in a picture, that Shiloh left on the pond, the Arts Bridge in Paris had the initials of everyone in her family except Brad. He and Shiloh used to be especially close, but that really hurt him, a pal dishes. So there's this place in Paris where you can lock a lock onto a bridge. And the Pont des Arts Bridge in Paris, and what you do is you write a little inscription with a magic marker on the block and then you lock it on this bridge and it's supposedly a trendy cool thing that all the rich people do now and Shiloh again looking like a boy put on the lock she wrote on the lock A M P Z S K V love family so she put everyone's initial on there except for her dad Brad Pitt and Brad Pitt is really, really mad about this. And, you know, the A is for Angie. That's her mom. And then P is for uh, Pax. M is for Maddox. Uh, Z is for Zahara. And then the nine-year-old twins, Knox and, and Viv Viv Vivienne. Vivian, I don't know, but no B for her dad, so he's really ticked about it. And the story goes like this: Angelina Jolie and her brood. They show a picture of her and all of her adopted kids. I guess some of them are are her own kids, the twins and and the boy girl Shiloh. And they show a picture of that. So Angelina Jolie and her brood certainly look like a happily fam a happy family during their recent stay in Paris where they were spotted on January 30th chatting laughing and holding hands the crew strolled from the Louvre Museum to the Pont des Arts the famed bridge where countless visitors have left padlocks inscribed with their initials as a sign of their love and Angie's 11 year old daughter Shiloh came prepared sticking to tradition the teen no, the tween. Okay, they call her a tween. She's 11, so I don't know. I guess she's not a teenager yet. The tween scribbled something on a lock and attached it to the bridge and tossed the key into the river. But, the, but behind the seemingly sweet gesture was a heartbreaking message. So I, wrote, I read that earlier that she wrote all the initials except for Brad or Dad. Brad being deliberately left out like that had to be devastating for him confides an insider and that was confirmed sadly it may be a sign that the family is divided with Angie and the kids on one side and poor Brad on the other it's his worst nightmare come true just more than tween spirit long before Paris there were signs that Shiloh the couple's eldest biological child boy girl was taking her parents toxic divorce especially hard she's just not the same bubbly happy kid she used to be 
and I'm sure Brad sees the change, claims Star's source. Brad, 54, may have a good reason to worry. What Shiloh did can be interpreted two ways, says Beverly Hills psychiatrist Dr. Carol Lieberman. Since she was with her mother and her siblings in Paris, it would be natural for her to include just the family she was with. Another possible explanation, and the most likely one, that she's hurt and angry at her dad for what she perceives as his abandonment. It's especially hard for young girls when their parents divorce and they see one parent much less than the other, ex explains Dr. Lieberman. They think the parent wants it that way and don't always understand it's what the court has decided. And certainly Angie could also be influencing Shiloh and the children to think all kinds of things about their father. Well, you know she is. She's bitter. She's bitter. You know, she had a double mastectomy and she's bitter about that she's bitter about Brad Brad's constantly looking at the younger babes I mean let's face it Angelina Jolie is is washed up she's old she's had a double mastectomy Brad's just he should just move on and find a, a younger babe all right bridging the gap since Angie has temporary custody it's Brad who's usually MIA meanwhile the Maleficent star, 42, has stayed in the public eye with new films and humanitarian efforts. Well, let's, let's take an aside here. That, you know, Angelina Jolie was in that Maleficent Disney movie where she was a, she was nothing less than a demonic witch. I mean, a total demonic, possessed, Luciferian, devil-worshipping witch with horns in the whole nine yards. And she played it perfectly because in real life she's probably is a Luciferian devil worshiper. I mean, these people, most of these uh, of these um, uh, types are they, they worship the devil. That's how they get their their fame and fortune. They sell their souls to Satan, and then they get whatever they want: their fame and fortune and all their money they have. And uh, it, it's really sick. All right, let's see what it says. It isn't shy, isn't shy about shoving her children in front of cameras. Most recently, she visited a Syrian refugee camp in Jordan with the Shiloh and the Zahara in tow. Angie brings out the kids every chance she gets while Brad sits alone at home, missing them desperately. The pal chides, it's not fair. But Brad, who's still lashing out a custody deal with his... is still hashing out a custody deal with his ex could turn the tide if he can get a 50 50 split there won't be the sense that angie loves the children more to the children adds dr lieberman and there's also talk the a-list actor may finally be ready to drop the gloves brad's a very laid-back guy but not when it comes to his kids warns the insider i wouldn't be surprised if he launched a full-out offensive in court she's He's angry at the way Angie seems to have turned Shiloh against him, and he's ready to hit back hard, dishes the insider. So, you know, it's it's a big drama. The, anytime these Hollywood types get divorced or separated, it's always a big drama. And uh, since Angie's a devil-worshipping Luciferian, who knows what's going to happen. All right, more things in the star. I'm just going to... I'm just going to go through the star quick and see what else is in here that looks interesting. Um, Jay-Z and Beyonce, okay, baby daddy drama. After years of trying to ignore his alleged love child, Jay-Z's paternity turmoil is starting to take a toll on his marriage. So it looks like um, Jay-Z had a baby um, a long, long time ago, and he's trying to ignore it. Well, pretty much all famous people do that, right? They all have babies out of wedlock and... Who knows what they're quick, you know. But uh, let's let's look at it. Beyonce has forgiven Jay-Z for a multitude of sins after getting a taste of vengeance with 2016's scathing lemonade, that is. But she may be at the end of her rope this time. Sources say Queen Bey, who struggled to move past Jay's cheating during their 10-year marriage, is now demanding answers about 24-year-old Ramir Satter wastes long-standing claim that he's Jay's biological son. 
Well, you know, what's up with Queen Bay? If the kid was 24 years old and they've only been married 10 years, what the hell? I mean, that was, you know, he had that kid long before they got married. She shouldn't be able to say anything. Since 2010, Ramirez has insisted he's the product of a 1992 relationship between Jay and his mom, Wanda, and a legal battle to get the rapper to take a paternity test has been thwarted at every turn, thanks to Jay who denies paternity and his bullish legal team. Ramirez is seeking closure from this, says the source, and he can't believe how Jay's acted towards him. Nor can the many civil rights groups and top lawyers standing in Ramirez's corner. Jay can't brush it off anymore, said the source. Jay's behavior seems out of character. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to an aside here. Okay, Jay Z and B Beyonce, known Satan worshippers and Luciferians. Everybody knows it. They sold their soul to Satan a long time ago, and of course now they're billionaires because of it. But they are top New World Order Illuminati Satan Luciferian worshippers, and they admit it. You can you can go back and Google it yourself. Both of them admit admit selling their souls to Satan and Lucifer. It's just the truth. All right, so Jay's uh, behavior seems out of character. Um, basically, it just goes on and on and, and talks about them too. Those two are freaky. Take a look at that. All right, let's see what else is in this magazine here. All right, now here's another big story. Kim Kardashian, mom or dad, What the, what is it? Caitlyn Jenner. All right, so there's another weird deal. Caitlyn Jenner, okay, it used to be Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner won the Olympics, won a lot of medals in the Olympics back in around 1976. Yep, I'm old enough to remember that. And uh, he turned himself into a woman. I don't know if he's actually done the snip snip. Does anybody know? I know he's had the breast augmentation and he's taken the drugs, the hormones, but has he has he actually removed his penis and balls does anyone know put put it in the um, comments if if he's actually done the snip snip yet and had a full a, a fake vagina a vagina put in they can do that they split they remove your penis and balls then they split the inside of the penis and they open it up kind of and they make it surgically look like a vagina and I guess it works I don't know but Oh, I can't even imagine it. But if anybody knows, ouch, I can't even imagine it. But anyway, if you know, if he's had this done yet, let me know. I have no idea. But here's what the here's what the story says, okay? Miracle. Um, Caitlin wants to have her own baby. So let's see what it says. Faced with an empty nest and shattered relationships with her children, Caitlin used to be Bruce Jenner is determined to start over now that she's entering her golden years well I think she's it's he's 70 that's pretty golden I, I don't know if it's gonna say how old he is I think he's got to be seven oh, that's he's 68 so I was pretty close 68 years old all right so um, Caitlyn Jenner has a solution just have more so Caitlyn Jenner wants to have her own he her own baby how are they going to do that? Are they going to get his sperm? I wonder if he saved some of his sperm in a frozen container. And then get a donor egg. And then put him in a test tube and let the sperm go into the egg. And then take the fertilized egg and put it somehow in his body so he can have a baby. It will grow in his stomach. I don't know how that's going to happen. But that's what he's going to do. Insiders tell Star the transgender ex-athlete has a bizarre new plan to stave off her loneliness by having a baby himself. Unbelievable. How is that going to work? How do they do that? Will his stomach just stretch out? I suppose I got to give him all kinds of all kinds of hormones. All right, so Christie's lipo scheme. All right, here's the new story. Christy Alley insists she lost 50 pounds from working out and eating right, but her friends are wondering if she turned to surgery instead. So she said that she um, she's now a Jenny Craig spokeswoman, and she said she lost 50 pounds, but her friends all say, nope, they went in 
and she had liposuction and surgery and that's how she lost her 50 pounds that's pretty sick all right so then let's see battle for Huda's seat I have no idea who Huda is Regis Chris and Regis I don't know here's a pretty funny story OJ Simpson swiping for a wife I wonder what swiping means what kind of weird is that so OJ Simpson is looking for a wife okay it's the, the story reads is this don't lose your heads ladies but you could soon have the chance to get OJ Simpson for a husband a longtime friend of the suspected murderer says that just four months after his release from prison the 70 year old ex-con is ready to start a new life with a new wife and is headed to tinder to find her what's up with tinder what is that i, I don't know if i've checked out tinder yet is that a place to the dating site where you where you date if you know what tinder is go ahead and stick it in the comments i have no idea oj has been hanging around bars and trying to meet girls but his reputation precedes him and he keeps striking out yeah i think they actually did a saturday night live skit where he was in bars and striking out with women it's pretty funny um so pretty much everyone knows who oj oj is so he's so what he's doing is he's putting his profile out on dating apps which i I'm, i believe tinder is so oj's got a got a uh uh, a profile on tinder so anybody wants to go date him yeah don't lose your head okay however the pal doubts that the disgraced ex-nfl star will find true love online or anywhere else well, i gotta I, I i disagree there i mean even manson found just before manson died and, and you know that's another story a lot of people think manson was killed um but just before he died or was killed he found a, a woman there was a woman that that actually married him and she was young and fairly good-looking uh, so if, if somebody young and good-looking will marry Manson Charles frickin Manson I'm sure there's somebody out there who will, who will marry uh, OJ Simpson I I believe that and for sure okay it says OJ thinks it'll be easy to nab a young sexy wife snick sniggers the friend that's a weird word to use here he tells he the word he used was sniggers what does that mean s-n-i-g-g-e-r-s all right if you know what the meaning of that word is stick it in the comments too i think it's kind of a slam we we tell him online dating is more likely to draw kooks than actual relationships but he won't give up in his mind he's still america's hero so oj wants a wife anybody out there want to marry oj go find him on tinder twi uh, <laughs> tinder all right so let's see let's see what other uh, okay then there's stories on the royals the duchess kate and um what's his name um william prince william uh are out looking at kids or something and oh my god he's practically shaved his entire head i mean he's hardly got any hair at all but he just looks like Uncle Fester now. He's got such a big, round, bald head. And I'm not saying it's bad to have a bald head. There's a lot of bald-headed guys out there. But he needs to get a little sun or something because he's peaked white. It's ridiculous. What else is out there? For stories, I'm just looking through it. I don't want to bore you. Okay, so it looks like Scott Eastwood, son of Clint Eastwood, was flying from los angeles to tokyo for some reason um dakota johnson just had that new movie she's looking pretty hot but i don't understand now she's got a picture here with dark hair dark eyebrows i thought she was blonde does anyone know does dakota johnson have blonde hair or dark hair what's up with that i thought i'm pretty sure her mom's a blonde and her dad's a blonde i don't know what happened with that here's the story on kesha Praying for change. Kesha showed her support for the Me Too movement with a moving version of Praying and was joined on stage by several other female singers, including Cindy Lauper and Andra Day. Okay, here's my story on that. Kesha, okay, 
she comes on the scene. She gets a she gets a um, manager, and she claims her manager uh, sexually abused her or made her do things she didn't want to do. Well, here's the thing on that: she had a manager. He helped her make millions and millions and millions of dollars. And all during that time, she's having fun. She's out on tour buses. There's all kinds of pictures of her doing drugs and just having a great time. Had no problem at all for years um, with this manager. And then all of a sudden, she's really rich. And she looks back and she gets, you know, she stops the drugs. And she, oh, well, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna sue my manager now because he, he took advantage of me. Well, what's up? All the you didn't complain all those years you were making all those millions of dollars. You know all these Me Too people. And it's the same thing with these actresses. What's up with that? These actresses go into Harvey Weinstein. They go in for a for a movie role. Weinstein says, "Well, yeah, you know what? I'll put you in my movie, but we gotta have a little fun here first every one of those waitresses i mean uh, secretaries i mean what are they actresses every one of those actresses could have stood up and walked out of the door and said harvey screw you harvey i'm not gonna do any sexual this or that with you just so i can get a movie role i'm leaving and you know what harvey could have harvey probably would have said oh no look i'm really sorry i you know i'm just fooling around look you're you're the perfect actress for the role let's put you in the movie and that would have been it but no these waitresses I mean secretaries I mean actresses they could have just said they could have just said that and walked out the door slapped him in the face but no they did their little sexual favor whatever it was and they got their movie role and they made their millions and millions of dollars and got their fame and their Oscars and they didn't seem to care until later on everybody comes forward oh I'm I've been abused and I Harvey made me do this or that bull Harvey didn't make you do anything Harvey's jab of the hut most of those actresses are in great shape they could have kicked him in the balls and got you know if he tried to grab him or whatever he they could have fought away no I tell you what all these women did the deed they did their dirty deed they got their millions and their fame and their Oscars and they loved him look at the internet there's pictures of almost every single actress that is in this me too movement now hugging and kissing harvey um they all love him oprah loves harvey uh, meryl streep loves harvey all these actresses just love him but and then they come out later oh no no i guess i don't like him now and you know it's all a bunch of bs they're all actresses whores as far as i'm concerned if they took a movie role and did a sex act with Harvey, they're whores. Because they got their movie role, right? They did their sex act, they got something out of it. They could have said no, okay? Alright, that's enough of my rant on that. Um, looks like Bruno Mars got a bunch of Grammys, six Grammys. And you know what? Bruno Mars has got tons of talent. If you've never seen the Bruno Mars... When he was on Saturday Night Live, where he does a lot of impressions, you gotta see it. It's Bruno Mars is super talented, super talented. And then they say Foxcatcher. Um, after years of top secret dating, undercover lovers Katie Holmes and Jamie Foxx made their public debut in a pre-Grammy party. Yeah, you know, um, looks like uh, ex-wife of um, Tom Cruise, Katie Holmes is now uh, dating. Uh, Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise is supposedly really really super mad about that and the latest thing is too um, and of course in the last uh, the last star magazine um, Tom Cruise is quitting Scientology because Scientology's telling Tom you can't see Surrey anymore she's out of the picture so you can't see her well he's He's really mad about that. He wants to be with his. He wants to be with his daughter. His daughter's getting older. He wants to be in her life, so he's going to quit Scientology. Now there's all these stories out there that it's not true. Well, it's true, and you're going to find out that it is true. Now it might be under the table. Something you know they might work out some kind of deal, and a few things. The details are not going to be told to the public. But remember, these Star magazines and National Enquirer and all that. 
They've got teams of lawyers. The first of all, they get sources on a story, and then they check the sources out three different ways or more. Then they have their team of lawyers look at the story and check everything out, and they make sure that it's 100% accurate. Otherwise, these these uh, celebrities would sue, them, and you know that. So. I would trust the star of the National Enquirer way more than I would CNN, for God's sakes. CNN is all fake news. So don't say the star on the National Enquirer are fake news. It's not. This, this is real news. They just want you to think it's fake, all these celebrities, because they're embarrassed. All right, so uh, Miley Cyrus and Elton John sang at the, uh, the Grannies, and I watched that, and... Uh, Again, I'm old enough to remember Elton John when he was in the, in the 70s, when he first, when all of his albums first came out. And he's a far cry from what he was. He's kind of bloated, and he really can't sing anymore. So anybody that wants to go to an Elton John concert, don't go. You'll be disappointed. Just go spend 16 bucks and get a CD or whatever. He uh, He's not what he was. But I will say this, he can still play the piano really well. It's just the singing, it's just muffled, and it's just not Elton John anymore. But again, he's almost 70. I think he is 70. If you know how old he is, go ahead and put it in comments. I have no clue. But Miley Cyrus actually had a big dress on. She wasn't dressed like a whore. That was amazing. And let's see what else we got for stories here. One heck of a show. They're, I don't know. I don't want to bore you. Just trying to. I'm just looking for a story to read you. But again, um, Tom Cruise. You know he's gonna quit Scientology. All you haters out there, I'm telling you, you wait and see. And looks like uh, that's about it. I don't see any more stories in the Star here that's worth uh, reading at this time. Ah, uh, Tom, Tom Hanks. And Rita are renewing their vows. So after 30 years of marriage together, the Hanks are in a league of their own. So looks like Tom Hanks is a pretty stable guy. He's going to renew his vows with his wife of 30 years. SJP slams Kim Cattrall. I have no idea who Kim Cattrall is or SJP, whoever that is. Oh. Sarah Jessica Parker, oh, spade face. It's funny, we've got a local DJ called Tom Bernard at KQRS in the morning show. And it's really funny, he always called Sarah Jessica Parker old spade face. That's pretty funny. So uh, has Kim Cattrall ruined her relationship with her former cast members? You can bet your big Birkin on it. So Kim Cattrall, I know they wanted to make a... a um, Sex in the City reunion. Everybody was in on it because they all make money, obviously. But Kim Cattrall won't do it. I think it's because she hates uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. I guess Sarah Jessica Parker is a real bitch. Everybody says she's just a bitch to work with. She's just the worst. It looks like Reba McIntyre's Risky Romance. Pretty sad. Reba McIntyre had a whole crew of singers and band members and I think even relatives that was on an airplane going to one of her concerts and she wasn't on the airplane for some weird reason and the airplane airplane crashed she lost everybody it was really sad oh here's the story Demi's weirdo ways a ghost from Demi Moore's past reveals the boozing backstabbing and downright bizarre be behavior that's left the striptease star continuously single so I guess Demi Moore is just a wacko. She's just completely wacko. Let's see who she's been married to. She's married to Freddie Moore for five years, but they separated after two. She was married to Emilio Estevez, and then she called it off. And then she married, or she just was um, engaged to Emilio Estevez which is um what's his name's brother if you know who's, who that is put it in the comments i don't remember bruce willis her longest marriage to bruce willis 13 years three children wow ashton kutcher married to uh ashton kutcher eight years but i will say demi Moore looked pretty hot when she was really young so she's uh she's trouble 
hard partying past. Demi started drinking and staying out late. She would come home at 4 a.m. So she's a... Demi's a party girl. Country's Hottest Bachelors. So if you want to see Country Star's Hottest Bachelors, there's uh, pictures of all of them. I don't know anything about Country. Kim at the Royal Wedding? No way. So there's a Royal Wedding with uh, that red-headed prince and the, and the other... The, the famous girl here from Meghan Markle they're gonna get married nobody seems to care I don't know Kim Kardashian might go Mila Kunis got in big trouble with Ashton Kutcher I guess Ashton says yet to Mila's red-hot conversation Mila Kunis got him some rushkey Mila Kunis got into some rusky business at pal's dinner party that made Hunky hubby Ashton Kutcher turned borscht red with anger. Mila and Ashton were chatting with a nice Russian couple and everything was fine until Mila, who speaks fluent Russian, started conversing with them in a native tongue. In her native tongue, says the party goer. Ashton had no clue what they were talking about. was getting really annoyed at being left out. The actor had finally had enough and snapped that his wife should speak in a language he could also understand, reports the source, adding adding that a stunned Mila, who was born in the Ukraine, was suddenly at a loss for words, although she probably conjured a few colorful comebacks in a multiple languages, and after a little stammering, switched back to English. So Mila Kunis, I didn't know that, she was born in Russia, so she speaks fluent Russian. And then she went to that 70s show, and then she married Ashton Kutcher later on once he dumped Demi Moore. So uh, Pam Anderson, she's a big mess. She had so much, Pam Anderson had so much plastic surgery. She doesn't look anything like she used to. It was pretty sad. A lot of these uh, secretaries, waitresses, I mean actresses all do the, do the, you know, the, plastic surgery and it's horrible what they look like it really is but that's it that's for this that's the dishing up the latest gossip on this week's star magazine hope you liked it please check out my other videos please like this video please share it out there and don't forget to subscribe and have a great day